Halloween is coming up in a few weeks, and let me tell you, there is nothing scarier than the extreme losses some people post to Wall Street bets. From being down 100% all time to making enough money to build a house, we're gonna go over the most despicable trades of September. The average salary in the US is just about $1,000 a week. Whether you make more or less than this is nobody's business. But what if you're someone who makes the exact opposite of this amount? That's right, what if you make negative $1,000 a week? That might sound a bit outrageous, but Reddit user Infected Toe is someone who managed to pull this off. Infected Toe made a post to the Wall Street Bet subreddit with the caption, about a grand a week over three years. He includes a screenshot that shows his $122,000 loss which equates to about 99.51% of his portfolio. His portfolio is now only worth $597, and things aren't looking too bright. Mr. Doms inquires about his loss and asks why he never reconsidered his strategy. Infected Toe would reply to Mr. Doms with the following. Well, that's because I had no strategy. I just picked a direction with zero date till expirations and hoped for the best. Roulette is not my game. I'm more of a blackjack guy. This reveals that Infected Toe was using the good old trusty flip of the coin method to determine his daily positions. This style of trading would seemingly continue as Infected Toe kept on losing money. This brings us to the 14th of September when he said, just put the last bit in Facebook 305 puts for tomorrow. I know it might not be a good look that he continued this very risky investment strategy, but let's be honest, he already lost over $120,000, so an additional couple hundred bucks is just a mere drop in the bucket. His portfolio depended on this one last play, and he hoped for the best as markets opened the next day. Unexpectedly, Meta rose over $6 the next day, and infected Toe's puts would be demolished. Well, that is really unfortunate, and according to Infected Toe himself, the money he loses is about a third of his income. Hopefully, Infected Toe learns from his portfolio and puts the risky investments aside. Muddy Spartan 117 is a user on the Wall Street Bet subreddit who posted this absolutely mind-boggling screenshot. The title of this post was 2100 to 232k in one month. Muddy Spartan managed to get a 104 47x gain in the short span of just a month. For reference, he would have had a million dollar portfolio if he started with just $9,051. A 100x gain is nothing to play about. It would take over 49 years to get a similar return in the S&P 500. You may be wondering, how exactly did Muddy Spartan manage to make such an insane amount of money? According to the man himself, he obtained this jaw-dropping gain by trading a lot of QQQ and SPY zero date till expiration and one day till expiration and meta puts on most Fridays after Hive Day. So he did have some form of strategy, but a game like this just boils down to pure luck. Some would say it requires too much luck. People began to hate on Muddy Spartan and left comments like, you forgot to Photoshop the percentage in there too. This makes no sense. Bro is selling puts, making money while the stock is going down. And there ain't no fucking way, dude. Positions or ban. The most incriminating comment of them all was made by OK Confusion 2368 where he points out a so-called Photoshop mistake within the screenshot. If you zoom in really close to the screenshot, you can see a pixelated box around the gain amount, almost like he cut out the gain from another picture and photoshopped it into his screenshot. Another user by the name of Patriots317 would say that this box was not necessarily 100% a result of Photoshop and may have just happened because of screenshot quality. I don't really know if that's true though, cause I actually tested it with my very own portfolio, and as you can see, there is no box surrounding the numbers. On top of this, it seems like Muddy Spartan edited out the gain percentage from his screenshot, which is a little bit suspicious. 
why would he edit out the percentage if he already disclosed the amount he started with? He was being so open about the amount he started with in the title of the post. So, why would he decide to manually remove it from the actual screenshot? Overall, things didn't really seem to add up. And let's be honest, when we're losing our life savings in the stock market, the last thing we want to see is some other hooligans 100xing their money on Reddit. Despite all this, Muddy Spartan would do the unthinkable. He would return to Wall Street Bets and post this outrageous video. He provided a clip that seemed to be definitive proof of his monstrous gain. This video proved that he really did get that 100x gain in one month. However, some people still doubt the validity of his claims. Some people are thrown off because of the poor quality of the recording. Other people think that he edited the HTML of the page to simulate these amazing gains. And some others think that his gain was just too far-fetched to believe in the first place. According to his Instagram bio, he shorts tech stocks for a living. So really, it's up to you if you want to believe his success or not. People are pretty much 50-50, so let me know what you think down in the comments. In spirit of the upcoming holiday, Reddit user DJK1812 is a Wall Street Bets member who was quote-unquote back from the dead. But before we go over how he's back from the dead, we first have to dig deeper and look at his history on the subreddit. DJK's first notable post on Wall Street Bets is from over a year ago. He says, I should probably give up, and includes a screenshot of a 99.41% loss. DJK has lost over $32,000 but that isn't even the worst of it, because he clarifies that he is actually down $85,000 from his peak. This means his losses are nearing the six-figure mark. Despite this, other members of the subreddit would come to the conclusion that he hasn't lost enough money just yet. He still has 0.59% left to go. Why would he give up now? His next post shows that he listened to this advice because he now only had 83 cents left in his portfolio. He includes the following with his screenshot. Lost all my money again, trading meme stock weeklies and spy weeklies. Honestly, don't think I've really learned anything. I'll probably do the same strategy when I save up enough money to trade slash again. That last sentence really hit different because he was a man of his word and stuck to his strategy. He returned to Wall Street Bets in a good mood and shared the following screenshot. Some spy call gains from today, 1100 to 11,110. DJK pulled off an astounding 909% gain and was now a happy camper. His luck would continue as he came back with another 153% gain. This time, he says, spy put gains, 11,100 to 28,100. I'm back in the green for the year. Surely, his insane luck wouldn't last for long, right? Well, he returned one day later with the following screenshot of his portfolio. He had a 34% gain, which equates to about $9,500 for the day. He says, coin call gains, 28,100 to 37,600. I should probably stop YOLOing my whole account with every trade, but I'm up over 3,000% over the last three trading days. His next post shows another $7,000 gain with the title, I'm back in the green. He returned four days later with yet another gain. This time, he was up over $32,000 for the day. According to him, that rally on Friday totally saved my portfolio. These spy calls went from $51,000 down to $9,000 then back up to $53,000 all in two days. This shows that his insane luck continued, but it was starting to get a little bit iffy. His portfolio was down to $9,000, but Spy luckily bounced back up. Well, this iffiness would be brought to the forefront in his next post because he came back with this diabolical screenshot. He was down to $800, which is a lot less than the $53,000 he had five days ago. His title reads, and it's gone. I set a new personal high score last Friday, 
only for it to all disappear in a week. I'll see you guys again when I save up a couple thousand dollars. I will be back. But I'm sticking to Spy Weeklies next time. Meme Stock Weeklies have brought me nothing but pain. He follows this up with, I was able to turn 1K into over 50K in a week, so I feel like I should be able to do it again once I save up enough money. It would seem like DJK's story ends here. He has a problem and he constantly makes trades that are way too risky. But what if I told you he wasn't playing around about that comeback? DJK would be cooking up in the lab and finally return to Wall Street Bets two months later with the following screenshot. 683% return with SPY weeklies today. I'm making a comeback. This is great and all, but let's be honest, a $7,600 gain isn't bringing his portfolio back to where it once was. This is until he came back the next day with another $10,000 gain. He was now back over $19,000 and it seemed like he had a bit of luck on his side again. This luck wouldn't last forever though, and this is shown by the following post. Zero day till expiration lotto trades gone wrong. Not sure how I'm gonna recover from this. DJK includes a screenshot of his portfolio that displays a more than $82,000 all-time loss which equates to about 100% of his portfolio. He ended up in the same situation he was in about a year ago. He only had $3.42 left in his portfolio, and things were looking pretty grim, until he came back with the following post. On October 6th, he says, back from the dead with a solid 600% day, $800 to $5,700. DJK managed to get a 620% gain in a day. Most people doubt his ability to retain his portfolio balance in the comments, but hey, judging by his history, he should still be good for another month or two. DJK proves that making money by trading stocks is a pretty difficult thing to do. One thing that's not difficult to do is claiming sign-up bonuses. Thanks to our sponsor, bankrewards.io, they make it easy to find and redeem sign-up bonuses for a variety of different banks and brokerages. I mean, look, Fidelity and Schwab offer $301 for simply transferring $150. Let's be honest, that's basically free money if you're willing to sign up. That's all for our sponsor. If you're interested, check out the link in the description below. I know the lost stories are interesting to listen to, but we gotta throw in some gains too. Just kidding. The next person is someone who took an overall gain, but walked away with only a fraction of what they could have left with. A fucking artista is a Reddit user who made the following post to Wall Street Bets. One year ago, I turned 21 with $280,000. Today, I turned 22 with only 44,000. It was wild. A fucking artista has only been active since April of 2022, but he really had things figured out. When he was 20 years old, he started with $3,500. So this means at 44,000, he is still well above what he started with. According to him, it all started in July of 2022. He was bored and didn't have anything to do, so he wondered what would happen if he dedicated his time to trading the NASDAQ with a leverage of 20 until university started again. This is exactly what he did. From July 22nd to August 2nd, he turned 3,500 into a whopping 20,000. This is already insane, but he would manage to make his way all the way up to $100,000 by the end of August. He withdrew everything because he thought it was just pure luck, which is true, but he decided to go back in with 40K just a couple days later. The money popped into his account and he was looking at the NASDAQ. He felt like it was pretty darn high for pre-market, so he went all in on shorting it. Just a few minutes later, the consumer price index came out and it was looking pretty bad. This brought his portfolio to a value of over $70,000. He continued trading based on this strategy 
and ended up finding his way to Wall Street Bets. He started posting on the subreddit, and things were looking pretty good. He was well above $200,000 and was easily making more than $10,000 a day. University was starting on October 3rd, and he felt like it was time to put an end to his risky trading. The only thing was that he had to go out with a bang. One last trade and he would call it quits. At 2 in the morning, he put 350 k on a 20x short on NASDAQ futures. He went to bed and his position began to rise. His position reached $400,000, but a couple hours later, he woke up to a 30% loss. Although a 30% loss is pretty harsh, he was still up hundreds of thousands of dollars on his original portfolio value, and he thought the NASDAQ would go back down. That being said, he held on to his position. Unfortunately though, the NASDAQ rallied 6% in the following two days, which really took a hit on his portfolio. The NASDAQ didn't drop back down, and his portfolio continued to dwindle in the following days. Although he lost almost $300,000, he still has $44,000 remaining. He started with just $3,500, so that puts him at a 12.57x gain, which is still pretty outstanding. Let's be honest guys, losing such a large amount of money can be pretty overwhelming. At the end of the day, we're all hoping for the best and chasing success. Reddit user LovingNatureBia is a user who made the post to the r slash futures trading subreddit with the caption, is 25k a day reasonable? This Reddit user was wondering if it was possible to make $25,000 a day by investing 70,000. You might be surprised that this was posted to the futures trading subreddit instead of Wall Street Bets. But don't worry, because it would find its way to the subreddit after user Roptions reposted it. It might be tempting to make fun of loving nature Bia, but let's cut them some slack, alright? You gotta admire the pure ambition they show. They are expecting a massive 36% gain every day, but let's just hear them out for a minute. I haven't actually traded futures before, only done some simulated trading before, and put some effort in. Didn't do my strategy for this just messing around. When I traded stocks last time, I traded for a few weeks, I was getting 85% plus win rate and very small losses, getting tops and bottom swings of leveraged ETFs. So I am moving into futures this week, gonna move about 70k, I believe in just to have buffer and margin excess. I've been really good at having no emotions and being in the zone last time I traded. In your opinion, is it reasonable to make 25k a day with futures and is 20 to 35 contracts too much? As expected, people wouldn't react too kindly in the comments. Yes, losing 25k a day in futures markets is very doable. This is comical. And buddy, if you trade that many contracts with 70k, there is 100% you go bust. Save yourself the 70k and do something else. Everyone was doubting loving nature Bia, but hey, maybe he's gonna prove everyone wrong and actually get these monstrous gains. As you can see, there are some people out there who are expecting 36% daily gains. But on the other hand, there are some people who have come to terms with what the stock market really is. I don't want to get too far into the tinfoil hat type of discussions, but let's face it, isn't it weird that every prediction you make somehow turns out to be the exact opposite of what actually happens? Sundial Go Up Please, also known as I Like Crypto, is a Reddit user who made a post to Wall Street Bets with the caption, I think I need to turn down the difficulty. Not only is he down over $26,000 all time, but he is also in an account deficit. His total portfolio has a value of negative $212.57, which is pretty darn good. He can easily make that back after a day or two at Wendy's. 
Although he is now down quite a bit of money, I Like Crypto's post really represents what Wall Street Bets is all about. Lord Keen is a Reddit user who shared the following to Wall Street Bets. Lost $35,000 in three months and $8,000 in one day, but I'm going to get out of this. Judging by his screenshots, it doesn't look like he has very good risk management. And when you consider he claims that he is going to get out of this, it isn't hard to see that Lord Keen is in a little bit of a predicament. Lord Keen decided to explore options back in May or June with about $250. According to him, he made tens of dollars and saw potential. He proceeded to deposit $2,500 into his brokerage and doubled this amount within two weeks. His portfolio was at $6,000, but he just wasn't satisfied with this dollar amount. That being said, he made a few risky trades and managed to deplete the profits over the next few days. Despite losing this money, he was not done. At the start of his second trading month, he deposited $20,000 into Robinhood after realizing that he needed more money to play with to achieve greater profits. At this point, he already understood how to set up options, but he didn't have the psychology part down. Once he got the psychology down, he gradually became profitable again with Microsoft Swings. Everything went downhill from this point on. According to him, he lost more than 10K in Microsoft earnings, and his account saw more red than a Manchester United jersey. In less than two weeks, his account went from $30,000 to just $10,000. He tried to get his money back with the good old zero day till expiration strategy, but he had no luck doing this. His portfolio was now down to $800 and his mental health was in the gutter. Despite this, he believed this downfall was all just a part of the process, so he dropped another $10,000 into his portfolio. He decided to bet on NVIDIA, and this unfortunately also flopped. He would try a variety of other strategies, but he goes on for quite a bit. The most important bit of this post is where he says, I refuse to let the market defeat me. I'm down over $30,000, but I still have 2,500 to make that back. My biggest hurdle is ignoring my previous losses and treating this account like a brand new one. Making 300 a day is hard to appreciate when you know you're down more than 30K. I might do monthly updates or just post when I make a million bucks. Depends on what y'all say in the comments, LMAO. So despite his portfolio's history, Lord Keen is still confident that he can make this money back. I'm not gonna hate on another man's grind, but it seems like he might have to switch up his strategy because his portfolio hasn't been doing so good for the first three quarters of 2023. This post was made only a few days ago, so I'll have to follow up with Lord Keen in a future video. As quoted by SN200GB, my mental health was in the trenches, but I knew this was part of the process. All I can say is good luck, and I'm excited to see how this all works out for you. Reddit user, best auditor of all time, is someone who made a bit of an interesting post to the Wall Street Bet subreddit. Although he already has quite the history on his account, we're gonna be specifically looking at a post they made a couple days ago. The title of the post is, Costco is selling 20K signed Babe Ruth cards. He starts off the post by saying, Costco, without a doubt, is the strongest stock in the discount store sector. The way he starts off his analysis you would think he's bullish on Costco. However, best auditor of all time's post has nothing to do with purchasing Costco stock. He continues on, it's not even close since Target shit the bed this year. It's probably the closest thing to owning a Chick-fil-A stock if they were public. Now, don't get me wrong here, you still have to pay attention to prices because not everything is truly a discount like the ice cream. This sparked a debate of the signed Babe Ruth Gem Mint 10 index card selling for 20K and whether or not it was really a good deal for a potential flip. Forget the flip because here is what you do. Remember, Costco has a 90 day return policy. So if you have $20,000 available on your credit card, you should probably buy it to collect the points 
and then immediately use those points before returning the card for a refund. Plus, you get to hold it in your hands for 90 days, which will probably never happen again. This plan literally can't go up. So yeah guys, this post has nothing to do with analyzing Costco as a company. Instead, it involves using a loophole to cash in on some rewards points at Costco. For those of you who aren't exactly sure what best auditor of all time is talking about, here is a summary of his plan. Costco recently listed $20,000 Babe Ruth cards. Theoretically, he suggests buying one of these cards to get 2% back in rewards, which equates to about $400. After using these rewards, you would then return the card and keep the items you bought with the rewards. Obviously, this isn't really a good idea because you would only get to legally keep the rewards points if you didn't return the card. On top of this, Costco may deny your refund, and if you're not the biggest Babe Ruth fan, you might not be too happy about being stuck with a $20,000 baseball card. I don't really think this plan is such a good idea, but I gotta give best auditor of all time points for creativity. Okay, Yogurt Closet 8305 is a Reddit user who shared the following screenshot to Wall Street Bets. As you can see, he is down quite a bit on his original position, but he actually was up a pretty insane amount a few years ago. Okay, Yogurt Closet says, at one point, I was up 130k and I didn't sell. Sigh, just some of my losses. This shows the importance of taking profits when you can, especially when those profits are in the six figure range. IB Flying 676 is a Wall Street Bets member who made the following post to the subreddit. Six of my stomach, lost 23k. IB Flying says, I started with about 8k investing at the beginning of this year, had made it to little over 40k by the end of September. Today, I disregarded all my stop loss rules and personal limits and paid for it dearly. My mind was so set on chart patterns, Vs, and inverse Vs from all these days of trading, I was too confident that at some point there would be a drop, and I kept buying puts on top of puts. Let this be a lesson, bulls and bears. I am really sad, angry, and upset today. We'll see about Monday when Monday comes along. Although he is still up 50% for the year, it's hard to ignore the fact that he missed out on retaining his $40,000 portfolio. Huge shout out to Miguel Hazler for subscribing to the Diamond Tier on Patreon. Make sure to join if you wanna learn how to make money in the stock market using TikTok.